seeing what is going on in our generation, I decided to come up with this message today. God bless you. Help me to touch that subscribe button. Subscribe so that you can be receiving all my updates. I want to tell you something, child of God, you that believe in righteousness. When you look around these our days, you will think that only people that are doing evil are succeeding. The heart of the righteous is melting every day. The condition of the world is trying to favor only the wicked. Only people that violate God's word. Only people that hate God and his kingdom. But I want to tell you that we are not the first generation to encounter what we are seeing today. In the days of Job, Job will ask God and say, God, why do the wicked prosper? Why do they do mightily well than the righteous? In the days of David, David wanted to compromise his faith and wanted to join the wicked. And David began to ask God, I said, why do the wicked prosper? They heap up wealth here and there for their children, even to their children's children. And David wanted to imitate them. That David said, my feet were nearly slaves. And the God decided to take David to sanctuary. And the Lord showed David the end of every wicked, the end of all the wicked men and women. I know that in life there are many problems, there are many trials here and there, there are many things that require especially money. And sometimes, as a child of God, you don't have the money to meet up those needs. But I want to tell you that Bible says that you shall say unto the righteous, it shall be well with him. The word of God said in the book of Isaiah chapter 3, verse 10, say unto the righteous, it shall be well with him. There was a time, children of Israel, people of God, we are suffering. The Lord, looking at the condition that the children of Israel were, in the book of Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, the Lord decided to speak through his servant, Jeremiah, and said, I know the thought I have for you. In this condition you are, thought of peace and not of evil. The Lord is saying that he knows the thought he has for you, child of God, even in this situation you are. And that thought is the thought of peace and not of evil. You will trust God with all your life. I remember what Bible said in the book of Isaiah. There was a time the Lord sent Isaiah and said, go and comfort my people. The Bible said, comfort my people, comfort my people, says the Lord. And today, the Lord is comforting you through this message today. You are a child of God. You are trusting God with all your life. You are living a righteous life. You are living a holy life. And the life is very, very miserable to you. You are facing challenges here and there that you know that as a child of God, you are not supposed to face that problem. The Bible said there are many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all, says the scripture. The Lord will deliver you out of your problem. The Lord will deliver you out of your debt. The Lord will deliver you out of your lack. The Lord will deliver you out of your miserable life. The Lord will deliver you out of your lack in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you, child of God, it is well with the righteous. It's not only when you compromise you become wealthy. The Lord will bless you because the Bible said that all power belongs to God. The Bible said, Thine is the kingdom, thine is the power, thine is the power, thine is the glory, thine is the wealth, thine is the riches. All belongs to God. The word of God said, Silver is mine, gold is mine, says the Lord. And the Lord will commit great silver into your hands to handle. The Lord will commit great gold into your hands to handle. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is coming for your rescue. Child of God, God is coming for your rescue. God will not leave you to die in this your problem. Don't compromise your faith. You may not understand the, the blessing that is upon you already. You may not be able to understand what spirit of God means for the spirit of God to live in you. For you to answer a child of God is more than wealth and riches. And the Lord will bless you because he will not abandon you. He said, I will never forsake you, neither will I abandon you. God bless you. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Facebook page. God bless you. See you next time. And bye for now.